Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Muhammad Ali Center. I'm Marilyn Jackson, the president and CEO of this wonderful center, and I'm so excited to have our partners from around the Louisville area join us this morning for the kickoff of this year's Cultural Pass. The Muhammad Ali Center is proud to be part of this program, and we hope many young people and families use the Cultural Pass to explore everything the center has to offer. Muhammad's destiny was sealed in the city at the age of 12 when his beloved red bike was stolen and he discovered a passion for boxing. This led him to become the greatest of all time, and we hope that the Muhammad Ali Center is able to create those opportunities, those red bike moments for young people and old people alike when they come to the center. Thank you for hosting us here at the Ali Center, wonderful place of culture here in our own city. I'm Barbara Lynn Jamison. And since 2014, we have been partners. The Arts, the Arts and Cultural Alliance has partnered with Metro Louisville, with the uh, Louisville Free Public Library, and uh, with, with Metro Government to, uh, and Fund for the Arts to really create this summertime of experiential learning for, for all. Arts and Cultural Alliance makes up over 100 um, hi historical landmarks here in the Louisville area, science museums, galleries, theaters, youth groups, educational organizations, libraries, and arts organizations. And with all these groups together, we see how rich the cultural life is here in Louisville. The summertime with the Cultural Pass offers students and their families the chance to explore, experience, and discover when there's time outside of school. That real get your feet dirty, get your hands dirty kind of learning in the arts, in the culture, which is really how we learn through experience. So continuing this learning that they're doing in, their, in our wonderful school system into the summer is a really important part of Cultural Pass. So come out and, and enjoy all of these many things through the, through this summertime. Get your cultural pass, and, um, and we look forward to seeing you explore, discover all the rich history and the future that we have here in Louisville and, the, and their surrounding areas. Thank you so much. I hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. It was beautiful weather. We had an amazing hike, bike, and paddle yesterday on Waterfront Park uh, that you can see right behind us here. Uh, with thousands and thousands of families coming out to enjoy our amazing city, the outdoors, to get some exercise, and to meet new people. And really, that's an extension of what the Cultural Pass is all about. I am so proud to join in the celebration of 10 years of the Cultural Pass program. The impact that this program has had on young people and will continue to have on young people is nothing short of amazing. Our goal at Metro Government is to make the, our city a safer city, a stronger city, and a healthier city. And programs like the Cultural Pass are really important to help achieve that goal because they help enrich the lives of families and young people. So a tremendous thanks to the Arts and Cultural Alliance, the Fund for the Arts, and all of the other organizations that help make this program a success each and every summer. I'm really excited and proud that this year, for the first time, the Cultural Pass is available in Spanish. Special thanks to Amos Izeramaya and our Office of Immigrant Affairs for making that possible. And thanks to my predecessor, Mayor Fisher, and his team for launching the Cultural Pass and giving us such a strong foundation that our administration is excited and proud to build upon. We look forward to building on the success of the Cultural Pass this summer and in the summers ahead. The Cultural Pass is one key part of activities that we have planned this summer for youth around our entire city. We know it's getting to the end of the school year and so parents of school-aged children are beginning to think, okay, now what? I know that my wife and I were in that position many, for many, many years, many, many summers. Now they're old enough that they're uh, working and we've got a summer works program for kids that are that want to work but this program is there for kids of all ages whether they're of working age or not it can be a real challenge especially for working families single parents families with limited income and these programs part of the cultural pass are designed to at least be part of the solution we want to do what we can to provide more options for young people so they can stay active get out of the house keep their mind active, prevent summer learning loss, and really expand their horizons and their, their thinking. Community members can register for the Cultural Pass at their local library, including all local free public library locations. There, they can also join another amazing program, our Summer Reading Program. 
presented by the Library Foundation. This is a free 10-week program that encourages kids and teens to read for fun over the summer. The program offers prizes and incentives. Every child from infancy through 12th grade who completes the program will receive a Louisville Free Public Library backpack or small shoulder bag. They'll also get passes to all kinds of local attractions and sporting events, like right here at the Ali Center, Kentucky Science Center, Louisville Bats, Racing Louisville FC, some U of L sports, as well as treats from local institutions like Fazoli's, Earler's, Raising Cane's, and Georgia's Sweet Potato Pie Company. Summer Reading is the Louisville Free Public Library's longest running and most successful program ever. It serves more than 40,000 young people every year. I want to thank Lee Birchfield and our entire Louisville Free Public Library team, as well as all of the volunteers and supporters who make this incredible program a reality and such a great success for our young people each summer. Another way that Metro government is serving families and children this summer is through programs happening through our Parks Department. We have weekly summer camps starting next week and they will continue throughout the entirety of the JCPS summer break at many of our community centers throughout our entire cities. Camps are offered specifically to children ages 6 through 12. And our 14 community centers will also be open and offering various types of programming for citizens of all ages to participate in. Led by our Assistant Director Ben Johnson, who is here with us today. Thanks, Ben, for all that you and your team do. Our community centers are such an important part of our Parks Department, such an important part of giving kids of all ages opportunities to have fun, to engage in activities, to be safe, and to help make our city a safer, stronger, and healthier city. So thank you, Ben, to you and your team. And also, remember that Louisville is home to the largest municipal urban forest in the nation, Jefferson Memorial Forest. It's in Fairdale. It is an amazing jewel of our city that too many people have yet to experience. My family and I have had amazing hikes. We've enjoyed the serenity, the nature of Jefferson Memorial Forest. And so I encourage families to go out to Fairdale to enjoy Jefferson Memorial Forest, to enjoy the trails there as often as they can this summer. Louisville Parks and Recreation also offers dozens of spray pads and spray grounds throughout the city, which are open from dusk to dawn. And there's more information for programming and activities brought to you by our Parks Department that can be found by visiting bestparksever.com. Again, that's bestparksever.com. We are going to continue to invest in the parks, in our community centers, in our library, in cultural institutions like the Ali Center, in all of our parks programming, now in our upcoming budget that we have just proposed and into the future. Investing in our parks, investing in our libraries, investing in our programs is a key part of our effort to invest in our youth, to truly make Louisville a safer, a stronger, and a, and a safer, stronger and a healthier city. So I want to thank all of our partners for making the cultural pass happen, for making all of these programs happen, and let's have a great summer together. I am honored to represent the six library systems that expand beyond um, and are included throughout the Metro Louisville area, both throughout Kentucky and Indiana. And we are honored to be a part of Cultural Pass that was extended to us five years ago and continues to grow with more and more partners. Um, to participate at any of the libraries, you just come to the library, register through Beanstack, and register for the summer reading program as well as the cultural pass. You then will receive your cultural pass booklet and that will be the key to adventures throughout your summer at the local participating venues. We're honored and thrilled to once again be able to offer these experiences to our community members as well as offering summer reading programs that have wonderful prizes and engagement throughout our communities. It's also a great way to keep up those summer reading skills and to maintain those skills you worked so hard on throughout the year as families. After the holiday weekend, thanks for being here. 
Um, I wanted to start with saying thank you um, to Marilyn for hosting us uh, here today and for bringing uh, the Muhammad Ali Center uh, to the Cultural Pass for another year. It's one of the great venues you can visit. Um, more thanks go to our partners in facilitating the Cultural Pass, the Louisville Free Public Library, thank you, and Louisville Metro Government, thank you, Mayor Greenberg, and Jessica Bennett Kincaid and all the team at Metro Government, um, Arts and Cultural Alliance, thank you, and Floyd County, Harrison Township, Charlestown Clark County, Bullitt County, and Jeffersonville Township Public Libraries. That's a, an amazing team that we have to lift the Cultural Pass. Cultural Pass would not be possible without the support of Mayor Greenberg, Louisville Metro Government, and our generous sponsors, including Caesars Foundation, the Gaines Foundation, PNC Bank, Cozair for Kids, Augusta Brown Holland and Gil Holland Jr., Owsley Brown III, and Victoire Raynal Brown, Brooke Brown Barzen and Matthew Barzen, and the Sam and Bonnie Rector Family Foundation. The Cultural Pass is an initiative unlike any other in the country. There's nothing like having a choice of 50 free experiences for our youth across the city for the entire summer using the Cultural Pass. We're thrilled to be doing this for the 10th year in a row. Cultural Pass is available to children and families across Louisville and Southern Indiana. At the Fund for the Arts, we know that art is a right, not a privilege, because art is a fundamental expression of the human condition. Art belongs to each of us. There's no better tool than the Cultural Pass to welcome our young people into our institutions that make and share art with the community so that they have every opportunity to explore and embrace their own artistic identities. We also know that art goes beyond the walls of our traditional arts organizations. It's in our amazing cultural organizations. It's in experiencing the Louisville Zoo. It's in uh, chemistry experiments at the Kentucky Science Center. And it's in a theatrical interpretation of our history at Locust Grove. These are all available to you on the pass. Last year, we distributed over 44,000 passes to youth through our public libraries. That led to over 150,000 experiences for those youth. Um, we're excited to do that again this summer. We encourage every grown up with a student between the ages of zero and 21 across greater Louisville to not only sign up for the cultural pass, but try something you've never done before. Go to a part of town that you rarely go to or you've never been to. Do something new and then share it with everybody you know. Now the most exciting part. I get to introduce uh, a performance this morning from Guru Vandana Arts Academy. Um, this is a group that brings a deep passion for and knowledge of classical Indian dancing to us in Greater Louisville. Uh, Guru Vandana offers classes year-round and will offer several for free this summer if you have your cultural pass. They will also be performing at the Summer Reading and Cultural Pass kickoff on June 3rd, this Saturday, at the downtown branch of the library. It's an honor to have them here today. And I will let you know that this performance is an excerpt from the Jiva Arts Festival that you can see in July. Welcome, Guru Vandana. Lord Krishna wants Sataji to share the gem and its benefits with all. But Sataji was prideful and wanted to keep it for himself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can we celebrate these six artists one more time? So good. So good. That was incredible performance. Um, students and their grown-ups have so much to look forward to this summer using the cultural pass. So everyone ages 0 to 21, get out there this weekend starting June 1st all the way through August 6th is when you can use your cultural pass and register at your local library. Um, it's going to be a great summer. Thank you all for being here.